Question for you. Are you projecting your feelings onto others? So where do we begin with this one, other than breaking it down into smaller, more manageable chunks? Well, we've got the fact that feelings are our internal guidance system. So if we don't understand that as a principle to begin with, then what we have is we have a situation whereby the underlying principle doesn't allow us to then construct other constructs or setups around that underlying principle. So when we have feelings themselves and they are the internal guidance system, then they have absolutely nothing to do with anybody else and we subsequently use it in order to make sure that we ourselves are heading towards things that are positive and away from things that are inadvertently going to be negative for us. And when we look at these things from the place of, well, if our feeling and our guidance system is directing us towards what is good for us or more aligned with us and away from things that are bad for us, then the question is, why do we then look at others and put them into the same box that we apparently are in? So when we have a look at the fact that other people, unless we ask them how they're feeling or how they are, then we technically don't know. So because we don't know, we create what's known as a gap. And this gap then allows us to project something outwardly. And when we project something outwardly, we then use it as a mirror effect. So we project onto them exactly who we are in the moment. And that mirror then allows us to have a look at how we're feeling, but from a perspective of second person. And then because we're then looking at the second person perspective of how we're feeling, then we're looking at it from a place of, well, you're like me and I'm like you, we're in the same situation. And can I then help you through the same or similar problem or stuff? and show myself that I'm in a position to be able to cope, manage and deal with it from potential early life experiences that haven't yet been incorporated into the self. So when we go back to the original point of, am I projecting my feelings onto others? Until you've done enough work to know that this is the structure and this is the setup, this is who I am and this is who they are, then we are in a position whereby we have to use the external influence in order to work out exactly who we are, how we're feeling, how we're thinking and how we're acting. So then when we go back to the basis of if we're projecting onto others our feelings in order to be able to see if we can cope, manage and deal with them from the current circumstance and situation, then the question is, how good are you at solving other people's problems? Because inadvertently, all you're doing is actually correcting your own issues, but without potentially having known that they are your issues or that you have the skill set to deal with it. So then what we need to do is go back and have a look at the work that's required in order to incorporate the understanding of that within self. And then when we get back to the understanding that that is who we are and how we do things, then we can start getting to the position whereby we can know whether they are our feelings projected or whether or not it's somebody else who we can then help because we've had a past or previous experience in doing so. But as always, until next time, trust the process and it's bye for now.